Hello, welcome back. So let's go ahead and since we did one for articles, we'll go over to recipes. So let's go back to chat GPT. Create a code snippet for a recipe page on eating breakfast smoothie bowls. Create a code snippet for a recipe page on easy breakfast smoothie bowls. All right, awesome. And chat GPT is coding away. It has coded not only has it coded out the page, but it also was able to keep the nav bar, which is great. So let's go ahead and come back over to the code. And here you just need to create a Let's see, we'll go ahead and abbreviate art. And all we have to do here is paste. And we'll take this and add the index.html so we can get back to the home. And let's go ahead and test it out easy uh, oh here we go looks like I may have put it in the wrong oh at this point the next thing I need to do is go into the HTML and now add the path so let's go ahead and go to the HTML and here we'll add the path. All right, now we're ready to test. Great. And again, now we need to go to Upsplash to get an image. All right, and we are now in CodePen or excuse me, in Upsplash, and we're ready to look for some breakfast smoothie bowls. I love these images. They are all very beautiful and colorful. So let's go ahead and, wow, this is gonna be a hard decision. I will, I'm trying to find one that um, really complements the color scheme that we have. Actually, I love this one, so I'm going to go with this one. I'll go ahead and copy it. I'm actually not necessarily sure about the size of that image, but at the same time, they all look like they might be around that size. So... Let's go ahead and head back over to our website and let's try it out. Let's see how this size works. It looks like it'll be good, but let's go ahead and test it. So we have the image address and we are now in the correct file. And all we need to do is drop the image address into the source attribute and run the code. And when we navigate to that page, okay, it looks good there. Hmm. I suppose it'll work. Yes. Okay, it'll work. So 
we can go back to home and we are then brought back to the home page and we are now at exercise routines and we are ready to ask chat GPT to create a page for full body workouts for beginners. So let's go back over to chat GPT. All right. Create a page that talks about full body workouts for beginners. And as you can see, ChatGPT is coding away. And the beautiful thing about um, ChatGPT is that it really does fulfill its goal of making it easier to communicate with computers. So you can say something as simple as create a page that talks about. And you don't have to be literal. You don't have to use extremely technical language in your request. Chat GPT just is able to recognize patterns. And because we've been working on this website for so long, it is now prepared to create the website. It's already, again, created the maintain the same nav bar so we don't have to continue to paste that in every time. All right, let's go ahead and bring this back over to our code. And we will create a page and paste the code. Let's go ahead and adjust the home link. There we go, and we'll run it. We also need to go to the index.html and link it to the new page. And here we go. And let's test it to make sure that it works. Nice. And now let's go ahead and copy this and bring us back over to Upsplash. And here we're ready to um, start a new search for full body workouts for beginners. All right, and we just need a simple image I like this one. This one looks good. Let's go ahead and grab it. We'll take the image address, bring it back over to our code and add it into, let me bring this over here. We'll add this image into the image address, the source attribute. There we go and run it. Nice. It's looking really good. Um, I noticed that we have a share prompt down here in the footer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And there we go. All right, great. So we have one more piece of content to create. And let's make sure this takes us back to the home page, which it does. All right, so the last one that we're going to create is a success story um, about how Jane lost 20 pounds and kept it off. So we'll go over to ChatGPT for our last uh, piece of content to create and tell ChatGPT, create a page about a success story 
that covers how Jane lost 20 pounds and kept it off. All right, I'm going to retry that because it's saying J. Create a page about a success story that covers how Jane lost 20 pounds and kept it off. All right, and again, ChatGPT has provided us with an amazing piece of content to add to our code. So we're going to go ahead and bring that into our website and we will create a file and paste it. We'll start by setting this back to the home page. And let's also go over to the index and add the link to our new page. All right, so now we can test it. Great. This looks great. And now we just need a weight loss image. So we'll jump over to Unsplash, grab a weight loss image. All right, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with they have some really good images here and I'm trying to make sure that I get one that really captures um, some of the things that are highlighted in the article and I'm having a hard time choosing one so what I'm going to do is go back over to chat GPT and have chat GPT um, actually suggest a visual for the article. Write a description of a suggested visual to accompany this article. To enhance the visual appeal of your article, I suggest adding an infographic that summarizes the key points and takeaways for your readers. The infographic can be designed in a visually pleasing way using icons graphics, and charts to illustrate the data and statistics mentioned in the article. The infographic can include sections such as the benefits of incorporating healthy habits into daily routines, recommended exercises and nutrition tips, and the importance of mental and emotional well-being in overall health. By including an infographic, you can provide your readers with a quick and easy reference guide that they can use to reinforce their learning and apply it to their daily lives. Additionally, infographics tend to be more shareable on social media and can help drive more traffic to your website. Okay, so ChatGPT is suggesting an infographic and I'm not sure that I want to add an infographic to our website. However, we could at least see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and drop in an infographic that we can use for the website. So I'm going to go back over to the code and let's use the infographic. All right, so there's the infographic. Let's go ahead and test out this success story page. And since the infographic was actually created with just as kind of a placeholder, it won't have the actual data, 
but it does offer at least kind of a visual of what this would look like. So it looks pretty good. And at this point, I think we have completed enough of our website to really see how functional it is. And again, I have gone through and added um, content for each section. And you would just need to repeat um, those steps for each of these articles or each of the recipes, whatever it is that you are adding content for. So I, I think we've pretty much gone over everything and this is probably a good stopping point. So once again, I hope that you have enjoyed this coding session with chat GPT. I hope that this chat GPT course has been informative and that it has at least introduced you to artificial intelligence and models like chat GPT. And my goal for this course was really to introduce you to the capabilities of chat GPT and to let it serve as an introduction so that you can then build on this knowledge with an understanding of how easy it is to communicate with chat GPT how easy it is to build with chat GPT. Take a look at the website that we were able to create. And when you think about it, chat GPT did most of the heavy lifting for this website. It provided us with the overall structure. It provided us with places to get the images, royalty free images. It provided us with all of the content and there really isn't a tool out there that uh, really compares to ChatGPT when it comes to coding. Even coding assistance, ChatGPT really kind of took the wheel and created something that turned out to be pretty awesome. So go ahead and continue to pursue your journey with chat gpt and i will catch you in the next course thank you for joining me for this introductory chat gpt class over the course of our time together we covered a range of topics including an introduction to chat gpt and its advantages digital marketing with chat gpt building a website with chat gpt and programming basics Throughout the course, we used ChatGPT to demonstrate key concepts and provide practical examples. We explored the different features and functionalities of ChatGPT and learned how it can be used to perform a variety of tasks, from answering basic questions to performing more complex tasks, such as digital marketing and website development. I hope that this course has provided you with valuable insights and practical knowledge that you can apply to your own projects and endeavors. Remember, ChatGPT is a powerful tool that can assist you in a variety of ways, and by using it effectively, you can save time and improve your productivity. Thank you for your participation, and I will see you in the next class. Once again, it has been a pleasure guiding you. I'm Professor Horton, and I will catch you in the next class.